Welcome to Shane Spit Different Face Podcast, where my opinions is facts, and if you don't like my opinions, you can start your own podcast, and it's free, so don't forget to click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Also, for my cash app, Hip Hop Artist of the Week, yeah, this the king of Philly, nigga, Gilly, nigga, shout out to Fair Play 2333 and 290 Row. If I'm on a mission, is you riding like some Michelin, homie in the kitchen, fire stones, high- Check the description. So, let's talk Yellow Beezy and Mo3. Also, follow Sane Spit, different face on Instagram. Now, I got to shout out Death of Cloud Chasers TV. This is the first place I seen this story, and I had to bring it to y'all on my channel, right? So, the internet is basically saying that the shooter of Mo3 is actually connected to Yellow Beezy. Now, it's somebody else. And I can't remember his name right now, but they were in a picture together. And I believe his name was Jose something, right? And um, Jose is supposed to be the right-hand man or somebody close to Yellow Beezy. Now, all of this is the internet alleging it, but I have to bring this news to y'all because I know y'all look to me for updates about these type of things. So what I will say is, man, that's a crazy occurrence that if this happened. Now, another thing I'll say. Now, just because somebody who you know do something to somebody don't mean that you told them to do it. Even if we look at the situation about uh, Quando Rondo and King Von, he didn't tell his brother to do that. His brother just reacted. And that's why I say you have to be careful with who you associate yourself with. Because now, if this turns out to be somebody who's actually associated with Yellow Beezy, well, a lot of people going to start wondering, wow, did he tell him to do that? Did this happen like that? Is this what happened? And then that puts your family in harm's way forever and puts you in harm's way forever and you ain't even had nothing to do with it. A lot of times people will do stuff for you just to try to show their loyalty and you ain't even ask them. So, one story, um, 50 Cent book, Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter, um, he was telling about how he was trying to get his mixtape out to the streets. And so he put it out and had bootleggers selling it, but the bootleggers was under the impression that it was a bootleg of a real studio album. And it was a new kid named 50 Cent that was hot, et cetera, et cetera. So one of his friends ran up on him when he saw him, punched the dude in the mouth, knocked his teeth out, Flipped the table over and he went back and told 50 like, yo, I just knocked the nigga out for stealing money from you. And he was like, what you do that for? That's part of the plan. So sometimes people don't understand that this beef and back and forth, although it may be real beef, sometimes it's just part of the plan to stay hot. Like the main artists, they focused on money and they focus on brand building, right? So they understand Hey, every time I'm about to drop a, drop a project or every time I say something to this person, my engagement go crazy. So now I'm going to say something to him. He going to say something to me. We stars, though. We live in our life. We trying to get this money. We ain't going to do nothing to each other. And that's how they thinking in their head. But they not really understanding that they riling up everybody around them. And the people around them, they can't make music. They can't bring much money to the table as the artists will bring. So what they want to bring is the loyalty. They want to handle things for you. So it's very important that you as a leader watch how you carry yourself because the people around you are not going to do what you say. They're going to do what they see you do. Spit Squad, drop below in the comments and let me know what you think. Oh, so check out Hip Hop Artist of the Week in the description and it's free. So click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Peace.